Hello, Moon Valley. Uh, today, I want to give you a little update on some things that are happening at Moon Valley before I get to my sermon. By now, uh, you probably know that on the night of uh, August 13th, the roof of our church building collapsed during a torrential downpour, and it left a hole about the size of a small apartment. And we're so grateful that no one was in the building uh, at the time, and no one was hurt. And uh, we're also grateful that the collapse occurred in the large, unfinished storage area behind the auditorium and not somewhere else. The uh, unfinished area most severely affected by the collapse had originally been planned for our offices and studio, but we couldn't afford to build it out at uh, the time. Had we built out that area, our losses today would have been far greater. And so we're grateful. The not so good news is that the collapse uh, ruptured both the sprinkler system main line and a water supply line, which then flowed freely into the building, filling it with about four inches of water absolutely everywhere. And then on August 18th, we had another hard rain that partially filled the place again with water. And as you can imagine, the damage is extensive and the uh, uh, fire marshal has declared our building unusable until repairs are made. Currently, uh, restoration crews are at work. Floor coverings have been torn out. Portable storage units have been brought in. Structural engineers and insurance adjusters are sorting out causes, reconstruction, and coverage. And we are preparing to uh, seek permits from the city to do the necessary repairs. And uh, we're taking all inventory of the um, personal property uh, losses we incurred. Preliminary indications are this could be months, not weeks, before our facility is usable again. Now, a number of neighboring churches have reached out to us offering to help, and their expressions of compassion have been so encouraging. This Sunday, uh, August 22nd, we will not be having in-person uh, services, but we will have it online. And so tune in on our website or Facebook or YouTube or Vimeo. And while we won't be having in-person services this Sunday inside our building, we will be gathering outside the building at the uh, south entrance for a brief time of prayer at 10 a.m., so please join us for that. Also, I am uh, humbled and excited to announce that All Saints Lutheran Church, located just across the street from us, has generously offered the use of their facilities, and we have gratefully agreed to start meeting there in person next weekend. We will be meeting on Saturday nights, uh, beginning August 28th at 5 p.m. That's Saturday nights, August 28th, starting then at 5 p.m. Uh, we will uh, provide more information as the date approaches, and so stay tuned. Of course, we will continue to offer our services online as we have been doing for uh, many months now. Now, before the roof collapsed, we had planned to have a, a welcome back luncheon this Sunday after church in the lobby. How clearly that has changed. Now it's a swim party. <laughs> Seriously, we, we do hope to reschedule the welcome back gathering soon to unveil all our plans for the coming ministry year. We still have um, lots of exciting things in store that are not dependent on having our own building. Now, local news crews have covered our story, and at the heart of our story is the notion that we're still going to bring the life of Jesus to our church family and to our community 
in spite of this trouble, because that is what we're about. Um, this temporary setback just alters our plans a little. And so thank you for your ongoing prayers and support. Uh, the Lord is sustaining us through them. And uh, certainly the Lord is still good, and he still has good things in store for Moon Valley.